Well, first of all, let me, let me ask you how, you how you started getting interested in your family history. Well, it's something I've always been interested in, but my father in particular, um, uh, his passing in, about a year and a half ago uh, caused my sister and I to look through family documents, and, uh, and we came across some things. And one of the persistent stories was that we had some relatives in the Civil War. So let me first start out with your second great-grandfather. Okay. Samuel Stout was a member of the Confederate First Artillery in North Carolina. You know, it's a little weird to have a Confederate soldier in your past. Well, I'll tell you what, this particular uh, Confederate soldier served a long service and was at the Battle of Gettysburg. <sighs> really? Yes. And what's really unique about your ancestor, about Samuel, is that he was a prolific writer. We have actual letters that he wrote while he was in service. Usually I see one or two or three or four, but to have a dozen letters, you know, the interesting thing is, you know, he starts out as a young man, excited. I think that he felt that uh, the cause of the South was just in his mind, but you can see the change in style, right? Look at his handwriting. He goes from very elegant, and then it changes toward the end. His hand starts to shake, and you can see that as, as the war comes to a close, some of the comments that he makes. We have these trans, uh, translated for you as well. This is camp near Dutch Gap, February 10th, 1864. I see no cessation of it now, only to look to all the wise and merciful God for peace, and that is the only way we are to have peace. Any way we have got to unite selves to a higher power than Jeff Davis is, or General Lee, to stop this horrible conflict which we are struggling. Samuel is buried in Moravian Falls uh, in Wilkes County, North Carolina, and that's his uh, gravestone. Tillman Settles was in the Missouri Home Guard. And Tillman has a bit of a tragic story, I'm afraid. Tillman was killed uh, four days after he was discharged on Christmas Eve. Oh. And Awful. He was, a, he was a Union soldier or a Confederate soldier? No, he was a Union soldier. So you know what? I gotta, give him, I gotta give my dad more credit. He was right. We had relatives on both sides of the war. This is a widow's pension. And Tillman's widow applied for a widow's pension in 1873. The only problem is that her pension was rejected because he died four days after he got out of the service. That's right. Even though he was killed by a rebel raiding party. Really? Yeah. Read this right here. Gunshot from a rebel soldier. He was killed in Price's raid and his body thrown in the Osage River a mile below, one mile below Warsaw. <sighs> just thrown in a, he was just thrown in a river? I, I always kind of doubted my dad <laughs> and that I, the fact that, uh, you know, his um, messages to us were true. It was kind of personal and special. So that's what I would say about that. <laughs> 